In this lesson, we will learn how to construct intervals for the difference of population means using the T distribution. Managers of an industrial plant want to determine which of two types of fuel, gas or electric, is more efficient, measured in cost per unit of energy. Independent random samples were taken of plants using electricity and plants using gas. These samples consisted of 16 plants using electricity, which had a mean cost per unit of $53.4 and standard deviation of $8.2, and 13 plants using gas, which had a mean of $46.9 and standard deviation of $8.56. Assume that the populations of costs per unit are normally distributed for each type of fuel, and assume that variances of these populations are equal. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the difference mu sub 1 minus mu sub 2 between the mean cost per unit for plants using electricity mu sub 1 and the mean cost per unit for plants using gas mu sub 2. Carry your intermediate computations to at least three decimal places. Around your responses to at least two decimal places. Let's see what we know. We know that the first sample size n sub 1 is 16. Sample mean is 53.4 and sample standard deviation is 8.2. We also know that the second sample is 13, sample mean is 46.9 and sample standard deviation is 8.56. It is really important to note that these samples come from normally distributed populations as stated in this um, sentence right here. I also would like to point out something very important. Let me highlight these things actually. So assume that population costs are normally distributed and also that the variances of these populations are equal. Why is this important? It is important because there are um, two ways, at least two ways, to construct uh, intervals using T distribution. One, when you keep your samples separate and one when you combine two samples and work with them as one pooled set and um, questions in Alex prefer the pooled approach but for the pooled approach to work variances of the populations have to be equal so this statement tells me just that because variances are equal I need to think to myself all right it means that I will have a pooled method of constructing interval so on ti84 when you're going to use the function to sample t interval there will be a question asking you to decide is a pooled feature on or not do you choose it as a yes or a no so you'll have to make that decision so i'm going to make a note right here it has to be pooled okay why because of the same variances that's why all right, um, so we talked about normality, we talked about the same variances. Um, uh, all we need to say is just to use a calculator to sample t interval to produce the interval of 0 0.09 to 12.91. Therefore, we can be 95% confident that the difference between the mean cost per unit for plants using electricity and plants using gas is between 0 0.09 dollars and 12.91 dollars per unit. Let's see how the calculator does um, this work and produces this interval for us. We go to stat, tests, we need option zero. You can scroll to that option or press zero. We are going to enter the information we had. First sample mean of 53.4 and a standard deviation for the first uh, sample was 8.2. Sample size was 16. Now we, to the, we move on to the second sample. Sample mean was 46.9. Sample standard deviation was 8.56. And finally, sample size was 13, if I'm not mistaken. A confidence level of 95% was requested. Please notice, pulled, yes. You have to make sure that pulled is yes, uh, chosen as yes, and then uh, compute your interval around to the requested number of decimals, and um, that's how we come up with this interval.